All right. Um, let's go and go up these stairs that we haven't seen yet. Hmm. Cutscene? That's probably going to be a cutscene. What the hell is this? What is this stone supposed to be? Is It's like... I don't know. Looks like something really expensive. Ah, oh, look at this. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. Aww. In the end, he died, didn't he? Him. Ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive. But his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for him. him. Not, Not for us. He died. Oh my god, he, she killed him. He begged and then she had to kill him. That's sad. It's actually really, really sad. Okay, well, I can go this way, or I can choose to go this way. Can I even make this jump? Nope, I cannot. Hmm. That's really sad. I wonder what happened with him. Like, what happened to his body? Well, his body stayed the same, but what happened to his mind? Hmm. Sad, sad, sad. It's a sad world. Okay. Ah, can go up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Holy shit. Is this gonna lead me to the next chamber where I can put in the next stone? The thing is, though, I don't have the next one. Ah, new story. I only have two so far, so... It's not really going to do much. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? Oh, totally. I am, um, yes. Like, to hold these sparks. totally. Mm -hmm. but it is weak. In time. In time. And crumbles into dust. She's very emo. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger? Something better. So we forged a like bedrock. Vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. Are you easy enough to enter? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that was a bad joke. But to leave. To leave required something more. Something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered, though, were they right to turn away? Okay, let's keep going. Let's just pretend all this stuff ain't happening. Let's just pretend. Ah, there's the next one. I won't be able to put that in.
I can go up. Nope, I cannot go up. Made it so that you can't go everywhere. Yeah, this is the next one. And I ain't got it, so... I have not found the third one yet, so... Well, I guess I'll keep going then, and I'll return to, uh... Thingy. What's his name? Connor. Because I don't have a choice. Animus. Let's go back in the Animus. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Oh, shit. Already. It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. Oh, he's gonna go get it. Oh, hello. Disconnected. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll be back soon. He's not. He's gonna die. How much you wanna bet he's gonna die? Well, my dad is going to get the third power source, and I can go back to Connor. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too, and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly, and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Aha, snow. I love snow. I think I love snow more than warm weather. Don't do this, Connor. Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We Why would he not stop, stop forgotten? being Sassy a dick? Be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. Wow, he saved your fucking life. Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. I'll remember that, thank you. I'm kind of on the old man's side, because Connor's kind of a dickhead. I guess he's got that from his father, though. I mean, the old man saved his life, and he's fucking ungrateful. And he got his fucking sweet ass awesome suit, and he's still ungrateful. And he taught him how to be a perfect assassin, and he's still ungrateful. Ah, just so many things. So many things. Yeah, yeah. It was a nice extra that they added the um, uh, Declaration of Independence in that. That was cool to see. Where am I exactly? I am... Oh, okay. I am in the frontier. That's what it's called in English because I still don't know. I know. Be quiet.
How do I even get where I'm supposed to go? I just follow this path. I'm going to mark it just so that I know I'm going the right uh, right way. Huh? Where is it? I'm blind. Ah, there it is. Show me how to get there. Oh, hello. Might just go through the forest. That would be easier. Uh oh. Hello, wolves. Okay, this sucks. I want to get off my horse. It won't let me. Fuck the horse. I don't care. It's not like they're going to follow me. I guess it wouldn't really hurt that much if it wasn't snow. Well, either way, I guess snow doesn't really soften your landing that much if you jump from a really high cliff. So I don't even know why I said that. Okay, well, it's like 1,000 meters away. I don't think I can um, teleport to it. Right, so yeah, I'll be right back.